And ECU is one of many schools in the nation right now that must mandate vaccines for a specific group of workers. Our Fort Sanders is live in Greenville and Ford. I know you found out more details. So who all is this affecting? Yeah, Julian, this is going to affect around 100 of ECU's nearly 5,500 employees. They're going to be required to get that vaccine. Now, this is all due to Biden's executive order on employees of federal contractors. Pretty big administrative burden that we're going to deal with. That burden coming as the December 8th deadline to get federal contractors vaccinated approaches. ECU, among other UNC system schools, are now looking towards Biden's executive order for vaccinating employees who are paid by nearly $8 million in federal contracts. And so now, why, why now for us? Because we're coming up against that timeline where if you're going to use Pfizer, right, you've got to have four weeks between and then two weeks after to be fully vaccinated. But what is going to happen to those who don't cooperate with the mandates being put in place? Van Scott says he's not sure of the exact outcome right now as it's a sensitive topic, but that like anything else, there are expectations. From the ECU side, it's, it's like any other mandate that we've had around COVID. There's disciplinary actions that are put in place if someone does not comply with university policy. Saying that they're working on a system to decipher which federally funded employees this applies to. The approach that we that we took was, you know, when grants come to when grants or contracts come to us, they're classified as being a grant mechanism or a contract mechanism or a cooperative agreement. So from that standpoint, easy to figure out which contracts fell under the uh, under this mandate, right? Noting that they just want to keep one thing in mind through the entire process: respect. You know, we're trying to find a way to do this that respects. Um, people's different opinions on the vaccine, but at the same time to be able to to show that we are um, making a, a real effort to comply with this uh, this mandate. Now, that executive order only applies to federal contracts, as mentioned, not to grants. So when it looks at grants, I'm actually told that ECU has around $120 million in total federal funding, most of that being from grants, which the vaccine mandate does not apply to. For now, live in Greenville, Ford Sanders, 9 on your side.